promotion coming soon Won't be long before we split the season again And we all go back home Stay strong, keep enduring Yasha Allah, Hamashiach Could we follow every minute, second now we're giving praises to the Father There's a spirit deep inside of you Every day is guiding you Bringing all things to remember it They are most good Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Right. For God had not given us a spirit of fear. We have no power and a spirit of a sound mind. Okay, so we have no fear of something coming. We're not wearing no mask. We're not walking around to stand six feet from people. Because we serve the true God. We're not clearing out. We not you see, we still out here. We didn't stop coming out here and spread the word like some of your churches did. Some of your churches gave up the ghost this, these last okay. couple of months. Okay. What I'm telling Jesus, you. Okay, what did Jesus say to the devil when the devil tried to tempt him to jump off a mountain? Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Right. Now, yeah, I have more faith in God than I do a disease. However, yeah, I still give out free masks. I'll still, <laughs> people, I'll still give people free hand sanitizer. Why? Right. Because thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Do I have faith that God will, do I have faith that God will me, protect people from a disease? Listen, brother. Yes. But if God's like gonna kill you, don't act with listen, listen to me, brother. When God's if God's gonna kill you, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do to get out of his hand. But God would listen, kill you. listen, if he's going to kill you, there's no man. There ain't enough sanitizer in the world for but you to would, stop for the Lord killing you. But, but, if, I, but if I die, it wasn't God. What you mean? If I die, it wasn't God. What do you mean if you die, it wasn't God? Well, because I have dominion over the earth. You have dominion over the earth. Let us make man in our image and in our likeness and let them have dominion over the earth. So, so, so if I have dominion over the earth. So you said if you die, it wasn't God. Why do people die? Why do people die? Because of what we need to do. Right. 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 If a drunk driver drove drunk, hit somebody, and somebody died from that. Got that it. Was the, no, Got it. We're going to prove it. First Samuel 2 and 6. Listen to this. All right. Listen to this. First Samuel 2 and 6. All right. This is First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to this. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killed him. And the Lord killed him and make him alive. He read. He bring us down to the grave. God is the one that brings people down to the grave. No one else. Hey, God is the shot caller. Nothing moves, nothing, nothing moves unless he's called and shot. 
right? You agree that he's omniscient, omnipotent, right? So his, his, he, he's the ultimate judge. Hold on, let's finish this out, and we're gonna definitely let you speak. Go ahead. And bring it up, right? It says, the Lord maketh poor right. and maketh rich. Right, so God is the one, even down to the very minute, if you're poor, if you're rich, it's not your own decisions that's gonna make God's specific life for you change or anything. Don't you, don't you remember? You have to follow along with what God says for anything. Remember, uh, what's it called? Um, come on. Um, every good gift and every perfect gift is from a good and from a good and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variable, it is neither shadow of turning. Okay. You know, that's James. That's James 1. Okay. You know, uh, you know, every good gift and every perfect gift is from a good. It comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variable, it is neither shadow of turning. So in other words, 32 and 29. Uh, what's it called? Uh, if there's something that's good that's happening, why wouldn't that come from God? Hey, does God do any bad? So what? Does God do bad things? No. So you're telling me he's he's a he's the father, mm -hmm. right? You ever met a father that ain't sometimes have to whoop you? You never seen a well, father that have to sometimes get on you? Well, who said that? Not, okay, that, that goes outside of your question. So you asked the first Lord of Israel. You said you said. Did God, does God do bad things? Yeah. Well, we all know all okay, his works. Right. Now, okay. let me rephrase yeah, that yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. All his works are good, but does he do things that humans on a human level would think is a bad thing? Well, everybody does something that on a human level. Everybody does something that somebody doesn't agree with. Right. Okay. Well, you know, when you mention this, but that's not what I came. I came to ask you all, you all know, but, how you are doing. Not why, because I'm here about y'all. That's a change, though. That's a change. That's a change. And the reason why that's a change is because we don't get riled up by the things of this world. Okay. We, we're steadfast in this world. We believe in it, right? We, we don't just talk it. And when things hit the fan, we sort of back off from it. And we sort of try to hide. How about you talking Matthew 6? Seek ye first, the kingdom of God, and the righteousness, and all these things together in the teacher. Okay, okay. 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 but you said God don't kill no one. We got a problem with that. Who killed out the first one? Right, who killed? Oh, yeah. Beautiful who killed, question. Who, who, who killed out the first one? Who killed out the first one? It took them 40 years. No, no, no. That's not the question. They didn't kill them, they died off. That's not the question. They didn't kill them, they died off. They died off. He killed, wait a minute, he he killed all the firstborn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, you're oh, you talking about the nature. Yeah, we're talking about the plate. The last oh. plate. The oh, last plate. Okay. Well, oh, well, you sort of. Okay, okay, okay. hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, brother. Who killed him? Yes. A death angel came from and killed him. And who was the death angel? Who was the death angel? Who was the death angel? Let me read it. Let me read it. Let me read it. Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. Listen to this. For I would pass through the land of Egypt this night. And I will smite all the firstborn. Who, who said that? Okay. The Lord. The Lord said now, He will smite all the firstborn. Now, in the land there? of Egypt, now, what's both man and both beast, what's and against there? all the gods of Egypt, I will, I will execute judgment. <laughs> I am the Lord. Right. But what's the way who, out of that? It said, "I am the Lord." Hold he on. Said he's what's the way out of that? There's no way out. No, there was a way out of what's it. What's the way out what, of it? What was their way out of that? Ain't no there, way. They were born to die. No, yeah. their way out of that. Remember. Yeah. Uh, uh, Romans chapter 9. No, 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 no. Hey, hold on. Remember God, that they had to God, put that on the door? God hardened Pharaoh's heart? Okay. Did he harden Pharaoh's heart? Actually, yeah. no, he didn't. So there was no way out. That okay. had to happen, Actually, brother. No. Remember. You had to, they had to put the blood on their, had to put the blood on their doorstep. Yeah. Only God would do that. So, he can tell everybody to do that. Did he tell everyone to do the Passover? If God tells you, if God tells you this is going to happen, if you don't do this and you don't do this, right? Did God cause it to happen? No, no. I will tell you. I will tell you. Exactly. You have an illusion of choice, right? So God tells you things, but He already knows what you're gonna do. The main reason why. It's, oh, does so, God? Look, hold on. Does God know what you're gonna do? Just because He knows it doesn't mean. Oh, if God knows what you're gonna do, it's preordained. No. Well, hold on, brother. Just because you know it doesn't mean it. Just no. Does, does mean God it. know what decision you're gonna make? All right, I got one more. There's That's a, my question. You said if you do this or you don't do this, does God know what decision you're gonna make? The main reason why I came, my food is getting cold. know that, but does God make? The, my, my food is getting cold. I've been out here since four. I've been here since four o'clock. The main reason why I came is just to make sure my brothers are okay. Oh, yeah. Romans chapter nine, hold on, verse look, eleven. For the children born not, neither have a daughter. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get this for you, Lee. This is on the point. I'm not gonna cut you off. Hold on, listen to this real quick. One last script. Deuteronomy thirty-two and twenty-nine. Hold on. All right. I, 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 I
Right. One more scripture. Listen to this. Listen to right. this, brother. Last this is Deuteronomy scripture. chapter 32, verse 29. Right. Oh, that they were wise, that they that they understood this, that they would consider their letter in. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. All right. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. So we got, we got, we got to catch up a little bit. Right. 32 and 39. Listen to this, brother. Before you leave, listen to this last scripture while you're right there. Listen to this, man. Bring it out. Right, this, is, out this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Right. It says, see now that I, I, even I, am he. Right. So God, he's he. Right? You read? And there is no God with me. There's no one else calling the shots, man. He's the only God, man. Ain't no one else saying, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Hey, you've got a lot and you've been ordained in life and there's nothing you can do to get out of it, man. Mikey Reed? I kill. What did God say? I, I kill. kill. What did God say? I, I kill. kill. God said he kills, he Reed. And make us alive. He's the one that brings the baby forth through the womb and makes the baby come alive, man. Right. He's the one that does that, man. It ain't none of your choices that got anything to do with it. God is going to give whatever your life is, man. He's preordained before the beginning of time exactly what he was going to do. Right. right? You think, because people think, People got this illusion of God that he's somewhere up in, uh, where he's in the sky somewhere, and he's just sort of winging it, man, doing his own thing, and he's sort of changing all the time. God don't change, man. Why can you read? I wound and heal. Read that again. I wound and heal. He asked me a question. He said, if someone, a uh, truck driver, runs into someone in another car, and then they hit another car, and it kills some little child or something where it hurts the child, who did that? God did that. He said, I wound. I heal. He's the one that's going to heal that child and just let they lock him. Right, that's right. Right? Keep reading. It says, Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Read that again. It says, Neither, it says, Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right, so there's no one that can deliver you out of the hands of God. Right? You can't deliver yourself. Hey, pastor can't deliver, your, deliver you. No one can deliver you. Come in come and work, man. What you, what you got this thumb up for? Like it? You a Christian? Yeah. You believe in God? Yeah. Who you believe in? I don't know. Who's God for? Who, 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 who's Christ? I believe in upper power. Upper power. So you don't really, you don't really subscribe to nothing. No. So you don't subscribe to. It. Okay. But well, we subscribe to the Bible. What is, what is your, what is your impression, or what is your belief of God? How do you think God works? Does God kill people? He doesn't? I don't know. You sure? It's, I've seen life and death, so... Who's controlling? That's, that's what I'm saying. You said you believe in God. So if it's a God, is he letting people die? That's that's what I'm saying. He's got to be letting them die, right? Because I see, I see bad things happen. Yeah, so who's so, doing... I mean, God is in control. If you don't want it to happen to you, it won't happen to you. Right? So if it's going to happen to you, it happens to you, right? So that means God does care, right? Yo, I mean, you can bring it out, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. But we were just talking about this. Um, and what you're going to find out, you don't subscribe to any book, but God is only dealing with one specific chosen people, which are the Israelites, the true biblical Israelites. He's not dealing with everyone. And maybe why you can't understand these things and maybe you're having a hard time with it, because God's only dealing with these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you know on the earth today. they scatter all abroad throughout the earth. Bring it out, man. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Yep. It says, See now that I, even I, am He, right. and there is no God with me. Right, so there's one God, and there's no other God with Him. Right, there's nobody else saying, Well, I can sort of do something for you. Hey, look, He calls the shots. Right, He read? I kill. Right, so this God, He kills. Right, He read? And make it alive. And He makes alive. He's the one that we were just talking about that bursts the babies that comes on the earth. Right, he read? I wound. Right, he wounds. If you get hurt, if you get sick, you coughing up blood, and you got pneumonia, and God did that. Right, he read? And I heal. And he heals. If you, if you got a sickness nigh unto death, God can heal you from that. Right, he read? It says, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right, there's no one that can deliver you out of God's hand. We just read this scripture right here. He kills and he makes alive, and there's none that can deliver him out of his hand. Hey, brother, you got to stop that Christianity when it comes to God. You got to believe God's word and God's word only and not men. Not men. 
He got his problem. He believes in men. But anyways, he believes in what? He believes in what man said. He believes in Christianity. We don't believe in Christianity. Christianity is a man-made religion. Yeah, it's solely based on money. But yeah, man, God, what's your, what's your nationality? Italian. Italian, yeah, yeah. See, you're the ones that killed Christ. So you, you got something coming for, for you in the end time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't looking too good, but yeah. His father was, give me that Romans 9 and 13. 9 and 13. Let me give you one last scripture, man. Let's go. Romans 9 and 13. All right. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Right. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Jacob is the Israelites, right? Esau is who you know as the so-called white man today, the Edomites, or who you know as the Caucasian man. They are known biblically. You won't find Caucasian in his Bible. You won't find, you'll find, you'll find Italian, but that's not a nationality within itself. The nationality of the Italians are the Edomites, right? So God said he hates the Edomites, and he loves the Israelites. So yeah, man, that's it, man. <laughs> that's it for you, man. But yeah, we just telling you your judgment, man. That's it. It's all good, man. Yeah. It's, it's all good to, you know, Christ 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 God, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright. Alright. Oh, sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you was old. You was old or something, man. You got one. You got one. Yeah. I knew he wasn't going to hold for that long. Yeah. I'm bringing the Pharaoh. Yeah. I'm bringing the Pharaoh. Yeah, man. That's what you, hey, this is what you get from Christianity, man. People think, give me Isaiah 45 and 7. People think God does no evil. Yeah. He does no evil. When I, that's what I said when I said bad. I'm talking about God doing evil. He's the one that commands evil. But all his works are good. You got to understand. It's hard thing for people to understand. Right? Bring it up. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Right? I form the light. Right? And create dark. Right. So the Lord, he formed the light. Right? And he created the dark. And even on a spiritual level, he's got the people that's enlightened, that he gets the knowledge and the understanding, he gets the truth. And he's ordaining the people that's in this darkness. He ordained the darkness, man. And God set up the Christian church. God set up these different philosophies and doctors to weed out his sheep. Right. Right? That's, God did that, man. Ain't no one else doing that. Hey, God, hear me. Hey, God is the one that allowed it to be done. Right. If it wasn't of him, it wouldn't have been done. Right? Can you read? It says, I make peace and create evil. Right? So he makes peace and create evil, man. Why do you think all oh, these Israelites, these prophets that used to pray, they used to say, Thy will be done? That's because whatever God wants is going to happen. Hey, God ain't going to come to nobody for something He wants to happen to happen. He does it. Right? Can you read? I, the Lord, do all these things. He does what? I, the Lord, do all these things. He does what? I, the Lord, do all these things. So God does everything, man. He's the one moving the sticks. He's the one that's making everything happen. Hey, coronavirus, anything you want to come up with, hey, it's one guy that, hey, he sort of got shocked that we wouldn't fear it by that, huh? Right. He thought we was going to sort of be out here being the same level he had right. and been, you know, handing out masks. And, hey, when is the account of Christ and the apostles sitting there handing out masks and handing out uh, masks to the people? No, they weren't doing that, man. They would have said, oh, ye of little faith. That's right. Little, look, no faith at all. You think God, hey, you think if God want to kill, we just read, no man can deliver you out of his hands, right? So you think a man-made BS mask they made for probably three cents, you think it's going to deliver you out of God's hand if you want right. to die? You don't lost your damn mind, man. This simple as that. You're out of it. You're confused. You're confounded. Because God is going to do whatever he wants to do, man. I got hey, you can put that mask on, but you might get hit by a car on your way home. <laughs> you, you can put that mask on, but you might damn, uh, be riding in a damn airplane crash right on top right. of your car, man. That's right. <laughs> I mean, this is the truth, man. Mike Bring it out, up. Mike right. bit by a snake. Yeah, bit by a poisonous snake, and you done, and man. If you escape the snake, the bear might get you. <laughs> hey, you escape the bear, a lion is riding around the corner. Hey, okay. <laughs> Hey, if the Lord were to kill you, it's a rock, man. man. Hey, yeah. if he set that head out on you, ain't no, ain't no mistakes. It's gonna happen. Go out. Right? Yeah. Keep reading. This is my favorite one. This is Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. Right? It says, If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Bring it out again. Bring that out again. Bring it <laughs> out. <Robert. laughs> if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. And this is what a lot of these Christians do, man. A lot of these religions, they faint in the day of adversity, man. They shut down their churches. They shut down these things. They don't really believe in God, man. 
it's all talk, man. Can't you see it's all talk? They talking the talk, but they ain't walking the walk, man. They ain't walking no type of walk, man. If you think when stuff actually starts happening, hey, we waiting on the things to happen, right? That's when you know you're gonna be proved. That's when you know when you go through that fire that you are a God, right? That's how you know when you right. go through that fire of adversity, man. Now, if you faint when adversity comes, hey, your strength was small, man. You did all that talking. You had hundreds of thousands of people, but your strength was small as hell, man. You didn't believe in nothing God was talking about. You didn't believe in no faith, man. Hey, God parted the uh, the uh, parted the parted Red Sea, man. And you think that same guy that parted the Red Sea might just accidentally make you catch coronavirus? What the hell? That's crazy as hell to me, man. But you got some people that believe in that BS, man. A can do whatever he wants to, man. Parting the Red Sea, killing all the firstborn, right? But hey, God can't stop that coronavirus. That, that's crazy as hell to me, man. Right? Bring it up, man. Finish it. It was more on that? Uh, let's sit on that. Put on that. I got a precept with that. I, I, I'm there 45. Oh, give me, um, give me, uh, Give me Psalm 78 and 49. Oh. Actually, no, don't give me that. Give me um, Psalms 103 and 45. Psalms 103 and 45. Give me Psalm 78 and 49. Psalm 78 and 49. Psalm 78 and 49. Separate not the soul from death, but give their life over to a pestilence. Right, so even the pestilence, things that happen to you, things that happen in your lifetime, and things you think, man, how could this happen? Look, God did every single thing that happened to you, man. Right? Bring that and up. This one is all the firstborn of Egypt and Egypt. That's the part I want. I was waiting on Hey, the ones that did, you said God slew all the firstborn of Egypt. God's taking, not only did he do it, but God's taking credit for it. He's making you know I'm the one. And like, and like they said, oh, I'm that nigga. <laughs> he's the one, man. Right. Ain't no one else did it. He's the one that smoked the first one, man. They didn't have no decision whether they were going to be smoked. Christianity is some BS, man. You think they had a decision? Uh, to, to, hey, so you're telling me if God wanted them to die, then they had a decision to make that could have prevented them from God doing what he wanted to do? It's crazy as hell. Right? It's a order. Verse 52. But he made his own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And what we were just talking about, you believe, we believe in this God that can do whatever he wants to do, right? And then, hey, you, we believe in a faith that we're keeping his commandments. We got a faith in his son of mine. Right. We ain't worried about nothing, huh? We waiting on the faithful. Hey, this is a sign of things to come, man. Huh? This is the very beginning. If you hopping off at the beginning, man, hey, you ain't going to make it to the middle. And sure as hell ain't going to make it to the end, man. Right? Bring that out up. Uh, 103 and uh, 20. And he led them on safety so that they fear not. But, see, uh, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. Right, so the Lord. <laughs> hey, hey, this guy, he, he, he split the Red Sea and then he had the, the sea crash back on the east. <laughs> and just, but he can't stop the coronavirus. Hey, hey, come on, man. How can you read the stories in this Bible and you think, and hey, hey, you really got the uh, idea, you a true believer in God, how you got the idea to be walking around the mass unless you get a situation where it's mandatory or something, where you got to have your job or something. Right, right, but other right. than that, what, 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 why would you be doing that, man? You, that means you're scared. Why are you sitting there hiding because of some virus? That means you don't have that true faith, man. Right. Hey, you couldn't, you couldn't have parted that Red Sea like Moses did, man. Because he had that faith in the Most High, man. 
and you would have been just like um was it Peter who, who, who down fell in the water and started to drown, man. Right? And and the Lord would have been there for you to save you like he was to Peter, man. Right? Right? Um bring that up. Um Proverbs, I mean uh, Psalms chapter 103 and 20. 29. 103 and 20. I'm sure. 103 and 20. All right. This is Psalms chapter 103 and 20. Right. It says, "Bless the Lord, yea, His angels, right, that exalt in strength. They excel. I mean, they excel in strength. Right. So God has angels that excel in strength. Keep reading. That do His commandments. That do what? That do, do His, his commandments. That do what? That do his command. So even the evil angels, and what you would call on the left hand side and the right hand side, the good angels, they all do God's will. Right? They all listen to his commandments, man. God, hey, God is the shot. It's crazy how they will admit that God omnipotent. He's omniscient. He does whatever he wants to when he wants to. But when it came to Satan, oh, he sort of just, ah, I can't do nothing with you. <laughs> Hey, God is, hey, the evil angels, they, they take, they, hey, speedily they execute the judgments of the Lord, man. Speedily, when they hear a commandment come from the Lord, they go out and execute it at its due time, man. Right. They don't sit there and stutter and say, well, Lord, I don't really want to do that. No, I don't know about this, Lord. <laughs> we <laughs> angels take that really happen to us. I don't want to do this. Hey, this crazy to me, man. God literally created the angels to do his will, right. to do his purpose. The angels didn't create God. God created the angels, man. This is what you better understand. Yahweh himself created right. the angels, wow. man. Keep reading. It says, hearken unto the voice of his Lord. I mean, his word. Read that again. Hearken unto the voice of his word. Why are they hearken unto the voice of his word, man? Why do you think when Yahweh Shah was around, when all them demons was on there, it's like, oh, please don't do nothing to me. That's because, hey, he had dominion over them, man. They hearken unto his word, man. Everything the Lord commands them to do, they do it speedily, man. Right? Just like when he cast those demons into that swan, right. they did it speed. They didn't say, well, I, I'm staying right here in the dude, man. I ain't going to that. <laughs> hey, they went speedily into that swan, and that swan went speedily over that cliff, man. That's what you got to understand. God's will is going to be done regardless of what you think as a mortal man on here on this earth. Think you make your own damn decisions, man. Right. Think you calling the shots. Give me that uh, Proverbs 20 and 24. Proverbs right? 20 and 24. Right? Proverbs 20 and 24. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Alright, come. Bring it up. This is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Right? Man's going of, are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? Read that again. This is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So you man, you can't understand your own way, man. You have an illusion to think you do what you want to do. But God has already ordained what you're going to do, man. You don't make your own decisions, man. You don't make your own choice. How the damn potter, how the potter, uh, the pottery going to do whatever he want to do, sir? Hey, the, hey, the potter word, which is the most high, he can throw you down and, and crash you and, and, and break the pottery. Out of clay. Yeah, yeah, the clay. So like it. How can the potter, that's what I'm saying, the pottery, the clay, how can it tell the potter what to do with it, man? And the potter, he, he, he frames it with the whether so uh, whether he will, man. Huh? Whatever way he wants to, man. Huh? Right? We got that Amos 4 and 13. Read it out, man. Huh? Nehemiah chapter 10. Come in the word of the Lord, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Go ahead, man. Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not of himself. Read, read that again. Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not of himself. So, Jeremiah, one of the wisest prophets ever, he said, I know that the way of man is not himself, man. Hey, was he lying there? Was he, was he a false prophet for this statement? He said, I know I don't make my own decisions. I know that the decision I make has been ordained from the beginning of time, man. Right? That my lot was sealed uh, like a, a, a damn of uh, a, a flexi seal, man. You can't, you got the converse where you know, uh, they ride on the boat, man. And you can't, ain't no water getting in it, man. Right? You're sealing something up and it's sticking it and you can't do nothing with it, man. Right? It's the same way your lot is sealed and there's nothing you can do out of it. Right, you read? It is not in man that walketh direct his step. Right. Read that again. It is not. In man that walking to direct his steps. Right, so the most high directs your steps. He's the one that directs your steps in the way you're going to go, man. You might think you're doing something. You might make a step. But who directed it? 
Right. Right? The most high, he's the director. He's the, hey, he, this is a movie, he's the leader. He's the director. He's putting everyone where they need to be. You know, he's sort of picking up the and saying, here you go, you're in the trunk. You're picking up one thing and saying, here you go, you're going to be destroyed in the last day. Hey, God is for whatever he wants to do, man. Right? And you ain't got nothing, nothing to say to him, man. Because you are one of his creations, man. Right? The cinema, give me Amos 4 and 13. This is Amos chapter 4, verse 13. Right? It says, For lo, he that formeth the mountains and created the wind, right? and declared unto man, what it says, what is his thought? Christ. <laughs> Read that again. Declared unto man. It says, Declare unto man, what is his thought? Not only the most high, he declares unto you what your thought is, what you think, right? You think you make your your own decision? Hey, the Most High, He declares what you gonna think to do the decision that He wants you to make. Hey, that's it, it's deep for a lot of people, man. That's but deep. but the Most High, He's the shot caller, man. He said, Hey, He's the moment. He that. controls your thoughts, man. How you think He control Pharaoh? How you think He control uh, all these many mighty men, man? How you think He control all these people to do whatever He wants? How you think um um uh, what was that um in Ezra? I don't know if it was in Ezra. I'm, I might be tripping. King Hard is guided by the Lord. Yeah, it, it came from, that's Psalms 21, right? So, oh, I mean, Proverbs 21. So you see here that the Most High does whatever he wants to do, man, right? Just like he had us open up. Our, we didn't have our temple. And he sparked in that, in that king temp, uh, mind, um, the Elamites, to uh, say, oh, look, we're going to um, let them get their own temple again, man. Cyrus. He sparked that, yeah, Cyrus, King Cyrus, man. He, hey, he said, hey, look, hey, that king has something in his mind and the most high script to say, we're gonna let these people build a temple and if you do anything against it, hey look, you're gonna have to deal with me. That's right. Hey, listen, you think the most high can't do whatever you want to do, man? What he had to do that for, man? He ain't no Israelite. That's right. He wasn't gonna be in that temple. Right. He wasn't gonna be serving that God. But it's something that the most high can. He said even your enemies will be in your side, man. Right. When you serve the most high and please him, man, in your doings, man. Right? Keep reading, now. That maketh the morning darkness. Right? And treat it up. Upon the high place, of, I mean, sorry, and tread upon the high places right. of the earth. Right. The Lord, the God of hosts, is His name. Right, man. God does what He wants to do, man. Give me Job nine and twelve, and give me Luke eighteen and nine. Job chapter nine, verse twelve. Behold, He take it away. Who can who can hide him? No, who can hinder him? Well, read that again. Job chapter nine, verse eleven, verse twelve. Behold, he taketh away. Who can hide? Who can hinder him? Right. So the most high, he do what he wants, and what you can't do nothing to stop him. Right. right you can't do a damn thing to stop him. You read. Who will say unto him, What does thou? What does thou? How can you say to the Most High what He gonna do, or what you? Uh, why you do that, the Most High? How can you say that? He does whatever, and that's how you see them Christians. They don't understand God, right? They think that God owes something to them, man. That's crazy as hell. They think the Most High owes something to them, right? Like He can't just destroy you in an instant, man. They don't know the power of God, man. They think God, He wanted to, you know. They don't know the man of war, man. They don't know the guy that killed the firstborn uh, uh, of all the sheep, the cattle. Hey, hey in they firstborn, they uh, actual males, man. That's right. Hey, look. He does whatever he wants. Yeah. You're bringing it on. Verse 13. If God will not withdraw his anger, the proud helpers do stoop under him. Right. Verse 14. How much, how much less shall I answer him and choose out? My 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 words, right? For reason with him, right? So hey, you got brothers and choose that words for the Most High, man. And that's how you should be when you pray to the Most High, right? When you hey, when you in the Spirit, hey, you should choose your words with the Most High, man, because the Most High can put you to death. Man. You are more than man. You think you sort of call yourself? Hey, man, it's powerful, man. It's the same thing Job and Solomon talked about, man. They said, hey, look at the look at man. Look how they walk with their head up. They right. think they run some shit, man. I, I hate to say it like that, <laughs> but, but the most hard one that's running it, man. Somewhere. He's the one that's running it. You ain't running a damn thing, like man. Dogs.